and continue with turn two orcs of storm boys decide to assault fate weaver and now we weren't sure how to do overwatch completely so we weren't sure if he got the fire one or all of his weapons so we just shot all of his weapons so comment below and your opinion on that and the storm boys do get their six inch charge so they're all in and my storm boy is in base to base contact i the knob actually he tried to use a shooting attack to change him to a, a squig but fate weaver decides to challenge my storm boy uh, no now since i couldn't assault anything more time to resolve the combats changing against the knob gets one attack and misses and the three remaining changely or uh, horrors attack my boys and deal one wound and i was debating Poison take away armor saves? No, but I don't make it anyways because it's only a six plus. Pile in for the orcs. They get mighty close and lots and lots of attacks. Mean lots and lots of wounds. Rerolling because I get a normal to wound that's higher. And even with the rerolls, actually, not too, too, too many. And Fate Weaver is still alive. And so he has a big fist of dice. But he does fail one, two, three, exactly, which is how many die. So he actually almost survived there. It's surprising how powerful everything can be with Fate Weaver on your side. And then Fate Weaver attacks the boys, two wounds, and oh no, that was the knob attacking the changeling, and I could not kill him. And so the boys pile in around. Storm boys. Now fighting Fate Weaver. Fate Weaver does a few attacks against the knob. Or, I know he gets a precision strike. And so he hits against the knob. And then I look out, sir. And are able to divert one wound. But then the boys attack back. Lots of attacks. And again, normally it would be fives or six of the wounds a lot of the time. But now it's only fours. Just a lot more wounds to be done. And so he has a few uh, saves. He fails two on his reroll and so fate weaver is exactly dead couldn't be more precise than that and i consolidate two inches and that will end turn two orcs turn three demons they are rolling for reserves the blood horrors do come in and they come in right behind my looted wagon to shoot the uh, a bunch out of his back and we're just uh, perfectly so he can get a vector strike off of my Death Dread, and so he gets four hits, I do believe, and he penetrates with three, and so he's automatically wrecked, but he does explode as well. We penetrated with one, we lance with two, but he hits a bunch of boys, kills three, don't make my armor save, and then I need sixes to wound the demon princes beside him, but I do not get any. But now my Death Dread's gone, so he gets another point. And we'll update it the board after this turn's done. And the Demon Princes decide to come out of swooping and go into gliding. And so they can position themselves perfectly to use their breath and to charge my boys. And so three wounds on my boys. Um, and then I had a couple on my knob. And so because since he is the closest, I have to resolve against him. So I look out, sir, and kill the other boy instead. Actually, there might have only been two wounds. Then another breath against my storm boys. Hitting nice and hard, and a bunch die, and I roll for lookout sirs because my knob again is out front. It's very, very hard to protect your knob later in the game, once everything gets twisty-turvy. And I'm not sure if that's the expression, but anyways. Changelings and Blood Horrors shoot the loot wagon, blow it up, and one more breath from another Demon Prince takes out another couple of Storm Boys, and now it's time to assault. And so only a few inches away each time is able to very easily assault. The Bloodthirster unfortunately cannot assault because the turn you arrive from reserves, even if it's ongoing reserves, you can't assault anymore. But he does get plenty of attacks and it's poison attack, so it's twos re-rolling and all my storm boys are eliminated. Consol consolidation, decent consolidation rolls, but we have one more combat before the turn is end. Too bad it can't consolidate in the combat. That would have been fun if they brought that back for me and for demons. But the demon prince kills a healthy five boys. Look out sir on the knob. But he dies and then a couple boys beside him. But then I consolidate into combat. And I'm going to get, although I don't have the power claw, I have poison attacks now. Again, it just 
it was unfortunately a bit powerful for the orcs. Maybe we should have re-rolled, but he does fail a couple saves and he is done. And the boys consolidate towards the Bloodthirster and hopefully we'll be able to shoot him out of the air and assault him next turn. One more combat to do actually. The Changeling is still alive. He attacks, misses. So I get rerolls, but I didn't have to reroll because I already hit. But I get rerolls on my wounds, but I hit with all my wounds. That was very sad that I wasn't able to reroll anything. But rolling, he does fail all three of his saves. And so the Changeling is dead out of the Pink Horrors. Chaos gets another three victory points and orcs have a total of five so top of turn three there's got three big monstrous creatures left flying everything else is dead we got some boys with the poison tax it's just crazy impressive how much boys can take down monstrous creatures plus i got the flyers and a full squad of burnas with uh, my hqs in there we got the pink horse over there but um i think it's about time <laughs> Good game. <laughs>